This presentation will show you how to construct a mechanism that will help you change motors without having to disassemble critical parts of your robot. This will save you time and avoid problems in case you need to replace a defective motor in competition between matches. We have constructed a mock-up showing on this side a typical motor attached to the chassis with one gear and an axis. The two-wire cable will also be attached to the chassis. In the event of a motor failure, you cannot reach the screws to remove the motor. You will need to remove this side of the chassis, remove this gear, and remove the tie wraps of the cable in order to remove and replace the motor. With a chassis or fixture, you can attach a motor to it. You can use screws, studs, or standoffs. You will also attach a two-wire cable extension from the microcontroller up next to the motor. Then, if you need to remove and replace the motor, you just need to remove the hex nut holding the chassis, remove the tie wrap holding the cable, and you can have access to change the motor. All the remaining components of your assembly remained untouched. Have another motor attached to the spare chassis to speed up the process. This concept can be seen on our robot. You can see that the wheels and transmission is assembled and that the motors are attached to the chassis. In the event of a motor failure, we only need to remove these three screws. This one, this one, and this one. And remove the tie wraps holding the cables. The motors can be easily removed. All the remaining assembly, gears, axes, and wheels remained untouched. Reverse these steps with your spare chassis and you will be back in the competition in no time. This concept was learned from single minute exchange of die, which is also known as quick change over and has been in use by the manufacturing industry for quite some time. The definition and its concept is explained in Wikipedia.